Where there was once a shop and a family home, there is now just a smouldering gap in the terrace. It is hard to comprehend the explosion that reduced it to a pile of debris. Easier to understand how five people lost their lives here. A family of five lived in the upstairs flat. Krishnan Rungan's brother-in-law doesn't know what has happened to his wife and two teenage sons. They don't even know where, where the bodies are, whether we've got to identify them, whether they are injured or not. When I go to the hospital, what do I tell him again? I don't know where his wife is. Kids. Filmed from a traffic camera, this is the moment the explosion ripped through the building last night. <laughs> Neighbours who rushed from their homes said it felt like an earthquake. As fire took hold, they did what they could to rescue people. One of the survivors was the owner of the shop who'd gone out to a storeroom moments before the explosion. I just heard a big bang, like bang and everywhere fire. I found myself up to, to that high and then to the floor. And for, I, I say, two, three minutes, I couldn't feel anything. I feel I should be dead, not staying for anything like shock. I am in a shock. But he is worried for the fate of his colleague, an assistant who he left in the shop. Firefighters have spent the day looking for signs of life. They insist this remains a search and rescue operation. And our teams are in there looking to see if we can find anybody that's still alive. As time goes on, clearly that becomes less likely, but we're certainly not giving up and our crews are focused on trying to save any lives that could potentially be saved. But their efforts are being hampered by the damage the explosion has caused to surrounding buildings. In freezing temperatures, it has been described as arduous work. But only once they are satisfied there's no one else inside can a thorough investigation begin into how this happened.